special program in living color on NBC. Today I'm going to show you how to mod Black Ops 2 on PS3. You do not need a jailbroken console for this to work. Wow look at all those mods. The first thing you are going to need is a PS3. The hammer is optional. Go ahead and put the Black Ops 2 disc into the PS3 console. Your NAT type needs be either strict, moderate, or open for this tutorial to work. Ok now once you have made sure that your NAT type is either one of those three, you need to turn off your PS3 console. You are going to need a USB flash drive for the next step in this tutorial. Ok now insert the USB flash drive into your computer, I will be using a PC in this tutorial. Go ahead and log into your computer. Oops let me close that. Oops. My computer seems to be having some technical difficulties. Okay well never mind the computer part, we can just skip that, and move on with the tutorial. But first a brief word from our sponsors before we go on with the tutorial, Kool-Aid themselves. Kool-Aid, oh yeah. You getting hot? Yeah, you getting thirsty? Yeah, this is a job for Kool-Aid. Hi, Kool-Aid! <laughs> Soft drink mix. Oh, yeah! Now this is a step where the optional hammer comes in. Like I said it's optional but it is very helpful for this step. This part is very important. Be sure to drop the hammer right onto the PS3. I would recommend doing this multiple times for best results. And once you are done put Black Ops to back into the PS3. You may notice that Black Ops 2 looks slightly different than you remember it, but don't worry that is supposed to happen it means you installed the mods correctly. Well guys there you have it, you have now successfully installed mods for Black Ops 2 on your non-jailbroken console.